Okay. I have here A Feast of Snakes by Harry Cruz. And this is a paperback. My notes on this, A Feast of Snakes, Harry Cruz, inscribed and signed, paperback. This is a nice reading copy. It is an association copy of some sort. The inscription suggests that Harry Cruz knew the person that he signed this to. It is inscribed and signed on the half title page. To Dale, thanks for everything, Harry Cruz. Um, also, there is a one line red stamp on the first page of the text block, um, which is an otherwise blank page. And I can't make out what it says. The letters are all there, but a couple of them are just obscured enough. I can't quite make out what it says. Um, but I am speculating that it's possibly an owner's stamp. Um, I have an inscribed, signed copy of another Harry Cruz book called Car. Um, that is also a paperback. It's inscribed to the same person, and it has the same one-line red stamp. Uh, so I, I believe it may be an, an owner's stamp. Um, so let me show the inscription, the stamp and the inscription here. First, right here on the first page of the text block, there's a one line red stamp. And an, most of the letters are very clear, but a couple of the let just enough of the letters are just enough obscured that I can't quite deduce what it says. The inscription on the half title page to Dale, thanks for everything, Harry Cruz. So that suggests an association copy of some sort that he, that Dale and Harry knew each other. And this is the full title page. In this case, they've spread the title page across two pages. For condition, um, shelfware to cover, very little indication of reading wear including a nice solid spine, not creased, or otherwise indicating reading wear. The book, there's a little bit of lift to the front cover, but it's not showing any, any reading wear to the corners or to the text block. And the spine that white gonna focus that white may not want to focus here. It's not quite wanting to focus that with all that white there. Um, but the spine is nice and clean. It's not creased, it's not bent, it's not showing that it's been opened, or that the spine has not been broken. Um, book hardly looks like it's like it's been read at all. Uh, the, really, the, the, the main wear on this book is just shelf wear from having been moved from shelf to shelf. Um, there is definite boxing on the top edge, uh, less so on the fore edge, and less again on the bottom edge. Uh, no foxing. I did not notice any foxing within the text block. There's no. I don't see any foxing on the pages themselves. They're still bright and white and crisp um, on the pages. The pages are clean and bright. Um, but there is fo there is foxing on the top edge, which the video probably won't show. The pictures, the pictures that I have posted show the foxing better. This is not showing at all. There's so there's so much white 
on this. It's not showing the, the foxing. But I want to mention it. It's it's not a serious foxing. It's it's really rather minor, in my opinion. Uh, mostly on the top edge, definitely less on the fore edge, and less again on the bottom edge. But I do want to mention it because you need to know that it does have some foxing. But the pages are clean and bright and white. And the foxing was restricted just to the edges and primarily to the top edge. And again, there's almost no reading wear here. I don't know that this book is has ever been read. The cover cover does lift slightly, but as soon as you open a new paperback, the cover starts lifting. Um, so there we go. A Feast of Snakes, inscribed and signed. Um, a minor association copy. I don't know who Dale is, but it appears that they did at least know each other to some degree. And that's all I know to tell you about this one.